Hello beautiful stars and welcome to today's reading. So Spirit brings another interesting reading for us today. We will be looking at four improvements for your life. Um, I have no idea whether that means we're getting improvements that are coming or areas of improvements. We'll, once we get into the reading, we'll know. Um, but we have three piles for you today is what's coming through. So let's choose them right now. And all your shuffling uh, from what Spirit tells me so far will be all on camera today. So, yes. So let's choose your three pile here. Okay, so can we get three piles here for today's reading, please? Spirit? Okay, there's all three. Okay, we will take those. Actually, just these two, and we're gonna shuffle, uh, no, this one is the third one. Okay, so we have, yes, this is correct. So for pile one, we have Apocalypsis. For pile two, we have the fault line. And for part three, we have the animal. Okay. All right, lovely stars. Take a moment to tune in. Take a nice deep breath if you need to, whatever, however you do this process. Um, there may be more than one pile for you. So when you once you tune into your intuition, uh, go to the timestamps in the description below. Choose your pile or pile, and I will see you in your reading. All right, hello, pile one. Okay, so we already review one of your improvements. That's Apocalypsis. Uh, we have your Oracles drawn, and we will draw all your Tarot and all your Lenormand on camera. We're going to mix and match for each of the Oracles. All right, let's get into your second Oracle here. We have Back on Task. Okay, and then we have for your third oracle, Spark. And then for your fourth oracle, we have Imrama. <laughs> okay. All right, and let's draw your first tarot here. Okay, so let's get three cards. Okay, one, two, and three. And then for your Lenormand, we'll also get three cards here. Okay, so let's see. And I may uh, speed this part up in the video. Um, I'll try something new with the format. And that's why I've taken the, the shuffling out of our, our videos for the most part. But this is what Spirit wanted today. So we're going to go with it, lovely stars. situate this give me just a second stars i will pause the video let me clean this up a little bit and i'll get right back to you okay lovely stars let's look at the energy of your first aura going here what is the first improvement for pile one please spirit mm, okay something is igniting you're getting clarity and vision some of something yes perhaps you've been waiting 
on something for a little while um, but there's energy of revelation something you're going to see something you're going like maybe a, a piece of information you're waiting on or something you've been thinking or mulling over about over and over something is being revealed to you or is going to be revealed so we have the wheel of fortune the emperor Let's look at this and um, this one. Uh, five of Cups. Yeah, let's go again. This one real quick. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Round, round you go. And let's look at your Lenormand here. So we have the Sun. <laughs> Talk about revelation. Okay. We have the Moon. And we have the ring. Mm. All right, I love these are. So the first improvement you have is upon something that you're, like we mentioned, right? Waiting on some information, something is, um, there's an air, uh, there's an energy and an air of waiting and kind of um, not quite stagnant energy, but non-moving energy, um, kind of like potential energy. Yes, and then we're shifting now into, um, <coughs> it's like, um, like we mentioned, um, the so something is parting the veil, parting the way, allowing you to see certain it's like events are folding and turning and as they do um, something will be revealed to you but not only that it will be revealed to you it will allow you to kind of embark on almost like a journey um, or a taking the next set of steps forward it, it's something um, long term firm um, structure, yeah, that is going to be lasting down the line or something that will be propagated, something that will be um, perpetuated into the future. So whatever you kind of been waiting on, a bottleneck of sorts, perhaps, um, yes, it's, it's going to be revealed, it's going to be ignited, and then you can start shifting and moving. We have the same energy in the same color here. Um, not, not so much the same energy, the same color of the dragon here, which is similar energy in terms of what you're waiting for. Perhaps you've been trying to build something for a while, um, but haven't been getting the results you wanted because you're missing some sort of information, key element, um, some sort of signal to tell you that it's ready. But as we advance and progress here in this first improvement, uh, that information will be revealed because it's all synchronistic with what's coming through. Like events are linking up and turning in, in a circular wheel kind of motion. And as it does, um, you'll go from a, a mental state of moving around and around and just mulling and, and uh, going, looping back on it. Uh, and then shifting into, okay, now I can start building my kingdom. I can start going forward with this project. I can start going with this relationship, whatever have you. But the first improvement is getting that, that piece of information or that kind of um, strike of inspiration um, that will allow you to move forward and also will allow you to commit to um, whatever it is you're committing to a project a uh, relationship um uh, yeah uh, whatever the commitment is is individualized for each and every one of you however the energy is the same it will allow you to go further advance enhance and commit to whatever this improvement is 
All right, lovely, wonderful. Uh, we'll leave the first improvement there. Let's move on to our next improvement here. Okay. okay, so we have back on task. Be sure you're using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider reviewing your goals, your schedule, or a project you are working on. <laughs> Talk about projects you're working on. All could use some fine tuning. Okay, what is the second improvement for Palawan, please, Spirit? Something is lighting up, something is glowing up, and it's like you're putting the finishing touches on certain things. Um, for most of you, it must be something that you've been working on for a while because this improvement here this carries a very similar energy. Um, we'll find out more as we draw your cards here. But, okay, for Palawan's next improvement spirit, let's get three cards from this deck, please. Uh, let's get this one, this one, and this one, I see. Okay. And let's draw three the Normans here. Just a good shuffle, and can we get three Lenormans? Uh, no, not those. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. All right, so let's look at your tarot here, and we'll shift this aside also. Okay, so we have the Ace of Earth with Nettle. We have the Lovers with Hawthorne. Hmm. Okay, and then we have the Two of Air with Chicory. And for the Norman, we have the coffin. Then we have the man, or the masculine energy. And then we have the star. Okay, so something you're putting the finishing touch on. And stars are setting out. So, <clears throat> excuse me. The next improvement has to do with networking, um, expansion, um, Coloring up is an expression that's coming through. I know it's not a usual expression, but <coughs> <coughs> those are the words that are coming up for me. Uh, coloring up, whatever it means, sprucing up. Um, yeah, perhaps that is a better term there. But the next improvement we have for you, Palawan, um, for some of you, I'm going to speak to this aspect but it's in regards to um, relationships that have come and gone. And perhaps for some of you, it is current relationships as well. Um, what has once started that seems to be kind of stable is now falling away. So, yes, a relationship that has developed or relationships that have developed that one seems stable, that one seem uh, beneficial and positive. And there's two messages here. So for those of you not resonating, uh, please give it a moment. There's another message coming through here. 
um, so for, for one group of you, um, part of yeah the relationships it has grown thorny. It has had seen its best days, um, and now it's kind of falling away. Um, it's what we're getting. The thing is, the improvement is for those who the relationship has kind of quote unquote died down a little bit. It's going to be spruced up. Um, it's like you're going to reinvigorate and bring back the fire into this relationship. Um, yes. <coughs> and it's going to blossom uh, back into something, um, something not necessarily new, but something more refreshing, um, something more uh, uplifting. Because I see for some of you, you're going back and forth. You're wavering, like, should I stay in this relationship? It has gone old, stale, um, and friendships are coming through here uh, just right now, too. So is this friendship any of any um, benefit any longer? Are we having fun hanging out? Or is it just like we're stuck in this friendship just because we've been obligated to each other for so long now? But there is a chance to renew this relationship, to bring something back to it, um, and that is its flourishing. But something has to give way first, is um, the dynamic we're seeing here. Um, for those in friendships, um, well, friendship and relationship, Something has to die. Something has to end. There's some part of the relationship perhaps that is um, oppressive. Not uh, That's not the right word. Oppressive is not quite the right word. Some uh, There's an imbalance there. Um, perhaps more taking than giving. Uh, but some sort of inequality um, that is making this relationship stale and, and dies away. So there's a bit of reaching out for compromise and um, to to make this relationship or relationships uh, flourish again uh, into something else, uh, retouching the the old peace aspects of what it is and turn it into something more uh glowing more um yeah giving it kind of like a glow up a, a refreshing touch to it um there's also coming out with um for those uh, this is the second group here something is starting that will form a beneficial relationship this is the next improvement here uh what we're seeing is networking uh for some of you is yes uh, something that perhaps you've been working on <coughs> was uh, you were going at it in a very certain specific way and things were just not working out. Um, so yeah, part of the way it seemed like it's working out. It started on good stable foundation, but then what happened was um, even though there was good foundation for it, it was headed in a direction that was so fixated that it became quite rigid and therefore it didn't allow for a lot of progress or growth or changes and now the improvement that's coming in is reaching out networking connecting communicating perhaps getting different advice different um, perspectives on it that will allow the project to really flourish and grow up uh, glow up um, and take another route yes all right so that is our next improvements we have here let's take a look at your third improvement okay so we have the spark and number 12 is pointing out here so either timing in december or the 12 of a certain month uh february i'm hearing so you're tuning in this at a time that would be about two months from now <coughs> yes uh something is coming together and striking up a spark 
All right, let's draw your tarot and the Norman here and get some message in regards to this. All right, so pile number one, Spirit. Um, for the third improvement, what have we got here in regards to this spark, something new beginning, perhaps? Um, and let's see, this one, this one, this one, okay. Okay, and for you, Lenormand. Okay, this deck is always fun to shuffle with. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so I have one, two, and let's see. Let's shuffle for a third card here. Oh dear. Okay. All right, so we will take these two. All right, so for your third improvement, not these stars, we have the Ace of Cups. Mm, you're being Tango and Amour. Being Tango in Love, <laughs> okay. And we have the Seven of Cups. Interesting. And we have the Ten of Wands. Hmm. Okay, I hear you know, you will know what's right for you. Okay, and let's look at Eula Norman here. <coughs> so we have the cross. And I feel like this is going to be an extra card. Because one jumped in, then our typical three, we have the clover. Then we have the key. Mm, open your heart up to me. Okay. <laughs> and then we have the stork. Okay, lovely. Let's put these here. It's energies towards this way. All right. So for those of you who are single, <laughs> uh, pile one, um, definitely a new relationship. It's sparking for you. Um, very near, soon here. Uh, near and soon here, because as we saw a little bit of the timing earlier already, um, <clears throat> it's either this month or in the next two months on a certain day or like the mid of the month. Um, so a new yes relationship is beginning. And will seem kind of like out of the blue or serendipitous. It's just like, uh, actually, it's like more like you're being blindsided, uh, but in a positive way. It's like somebody comes out of the blue and asks you out and you're like, oh, I did not expect that at all. I didn't know that this person was ever interested in me. It's kind of the energy we're getting here. Um, <coughs> and... Uh, we can move away from this energy um, if a relationship is not what you're expecting or are wanting. Um, or perhaps I'll give you another interpretation, but um, yes, let me um, convey this message first as Spirit has brought it for some of you. Um, and the thing is, you're going to have many suitors. Um, yes, so this will not be the only one. The thing is, it will confuse you. <laughs> because you're like, oh, now I have like seven dates or five dates uh, set up. It's like five people have asked me out and I don't know uh, which one is the one I'm really interested in. There is a spark going on with one of them um, or two of them that may seem very close um, to potential partners for you. 
Um, and the thing is, it's gonna feel somewhat like a burden navigating all this. I mean, especially if you're navigating um, five people or five yeah potentials at the same time. <coughs> the thing is, you can accelerate it into or enhance it into the relationship you want. Once you go into, into introspection, the first thing I got from this was not only, well, the Ten of Wands with the energy of navigating all this, yes, but we're also getting very hermit energy here. And hermit energy is, um, in this case, it's not about withdrawing away from all this. It's more so looking deep within to know which is your true spark. Yes, because you have many options um, and it will feel quite burdensome to to navigate all this uh, or all these different people or d different personalities different energy types um, but there's one true spark that comes for you um, and for some reason I'm hearing two uh, for those of you who are poly um, amorous perhaps there's two main relationships that are uh, standing out for you um, when we're speaking in terms of romance, we'll, we'll get to the non-romantics in a little bit. So yes, it will seem, um, follow you, go within when you are confused, when you are uncertain, um, and there will be one that stands out to you, um, as you go into reflection and you're like, okay. I open my heart to truly the one that ignites and likes my heart and that will be the one that stands out to you. Okay. And for the non-romantics, um, yes, perhaps it is a choice that you make and as you tune into your intuition, you know what the right decision for you is. I don't want to speak anymore in terms of that because they really want to point me to the the romantic energy here. Um, so yes, let's move on to our next blessings here or our next improvement. Okay. <coughs> All right, so we have Rama with Wonder Voyage Crossing Deep Waters, Pilgrimage, Journey of the Soul. Hmm. Your next improvement, 45 days from now? Okay, interesting. Um, will be, for some of you, it's traveling. It's going somewhere. Um, perhaps 45 days from now. I don't think it's 445 days. Let's see. Yeah, some sort of exciting voyage venture that will take you out of your usual um usual boat, I guess, not comfort zone. Um well, perhaps pushing your comfort zone too, but more so taking out your usual circumstances, yes. Some sort of venture, project, travels. Um, lots of travel energy coming through here that will <coughs> give you new exciting adventures to work with um, or new exciting adventures of discovery. Yes, um, let's look at your tarot here. Yeah, new wonders, amazement, journeys, um, things of that nature, that energy for you. New discoveries, that is the improvement that's coming through. Okay, and let's get your Lenormand here. to help us clarify this next improvement. And we'll take this one too, okay. Yeah, some sort of voyage. 
that would be beneficial for you. Okay, let's see. We have completion with the world here, or the world card. Mm, cartography. That's like a map here, moment to moment. And we have experiencing with three of ones. Hmm. Ties in very well with this message. Okay, and then we have the book. The clover. And the birds. Oh, sorry, not the bird. <laughs> uh, the ring. There are birds in here, yes, but this is the ring. Uh, also, Taurus is being pointed out. Okay. So perhaps in Taurus season, comes around March-ish, I believe, yes. Yeah. Hmm, okay. This is quite an interesting energy for the ring here. Okay, what is this boyish in regards to spirit for power number one? This is their fourth improvement here, yes. Some sort of plan, itinerary. Um, yes, and there will be an opportunity that pops up, like a window of opportunity that's like, now is the time to travel, now is the time to go. Um, perhaps you've been waiting for a while, you've been in a, um, kind of like a, a lull, L-U-L-L, -L, um, a period of just... Um, waiting around, uh, a bit of inertia, not a lot of movement, <coughs> but something is going to be completed and that will allow you to have the freedom to travel um, and bring a lot of joy uh, uh, to your life as you go about and shift away uh, from this low kind of energy to experience new horizons, new wonders, new sights, new, yeah, the, um, all the amazement that comes when you go on a voyage or when you go to a new destination or a new country um, or a new location even perhaps, um, it will allow you to see from another perspective, um, literally just, um, yeah, when you take a trip to another destination on the globe, um, getting strong um, Earth globe vibe here, um, traveling. So, <coughs> I guess the completion of a certain, yeah, requirement, project, deadline, something you have to complete, and then now you're moving and shifting. Um, that will allow you to experience and have a lot of adventures and a lot of fun um, and that will add to um, add to your memories, add to your memoir, um, things that um, that we consider enriching for our life that we can say uh, when we look at the the when we were more towards that later on in life and we look back or if you are now you can look back and say like oh i did that and that was a lot of fun i did that i learned a lot from that experience it's those kind of like gold nuggets of experiences that you can add to your repertoire of experiences and that's the next improvement we're seeing here for you wow so wonderful to hear lovely stars yeah so um, looking forward to all you have going on here with your revelation, the um, 
new projects or things you're starting, romantic relationship that are sparking for you, uh, potential dates and potential choices and options you have and a new adventures waiting for you. Absolutely wonderful to hear. All right, uh, lovely stars, that was your reading for today. Um, if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful or insightful, um, please give that uh, like button a tap and subscribe if you have not already. I wish you a wonderful magical day. Take care of yourself, shine bright, and have many wonderful things to look forward to. And I'll see you in the next reading. <laughs> Bye, lovely stars. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. Okay, so all of your oracles are shuffled. We will shuffle all your tarot uh, and Lenormand on camera here. So let's, we have four improvements for you today in your readings. Let's look at the first one here. Uh, it's the fault line. Oh, interesting. Moving away from a situation, away from people primarily. Um, but it's not an easy getaway. It's a slow, drudging kind of energy um, that you're shifting away from. But it is an improvement because we are shifting away from uh, a chasm of sorts, uh, a division. Um, yeah, an energy that is kind of um, toxic is not the right word dying stagnant things of those nature yeah an energy that is is dead or not shifting for you and we're moving away from that it's a difficult situation to to move yourself away from that's why we're getting this improvement encouragement coming through here for you to shift away from that energy um this one actually this one okay which one of these spirit this one okay originally we that okay so we're gonna throw out three tarot for you and then three lenormand Okay, so for Pile Two's first improvement spirit, what is the energy that is shifting or improving in their life here? Uh, let's see. Okay. So we have the Page of Pentacles. There's greater horizons for you. There's six of swords. And there is the high priestess. Hmm. Someone's opening their doors for you. Okay. Let's see what that's about. Then we have the bear. Hmm. We have bear with combination of mountain here. Interesting. Okay, so we have uh, crossroads or path crossroads or pathways. Yes, we're moving and shifting away from, and then we have the mice. This is a major improvement for you, part number two, because it's a very difficult energy you are in right now. Like I said, it's kind of like a dead, stagnant energy, right? Um, oppressive almost as well and abusive as well. Um, so we're, we're seeing you slowly kind of trudging and shifting away from this energy. Perhaps bringing somebody that you care along with you too. Uh, or the other way around, vice versa. It doesn't matter. But you and those that are involved or kind of um, stuck in this situation it's almost like being on the middle of a fault line right you never know when it's going to crack when it's going to explode um 
there's new greater horizons for you. It's like right now it's in like a state of stagnation and almost like fear. Uh, it's like I'm afraid to kind of shift or touch the situation because it is so volatile. Um, being oppressed and being stuck with where you are, um, <coughs> it's time to to shift away uh, from the situation. Uh, there's also, well, we'll speak to that in a little bit about um, diverging paths here. But let's let's still encompass about the rest of this energy. So yes, we're moving and shifting away from this kind of stagnant, dead, oppressive, and abusive energy. And then um, do know that there's someone you can rely on, um, or uh, not better, uh, not necessarily. Yes, there will be someone you can rely on, or someone will open their doors to you, and will let you, will help you get away from this this stagnant energy. That um, that's part of the improvement we're seeing here. You may or may not know this person yet, or they might not have come into your life yet. But when the time comes and you need it the most, um, when when you are most stressed out. When you are, when you have things eating away at you, when you are most at your um, kind of perplexed, challenging um, moment dealing with this energy, that's when this person comes in, and it, that will kind of quote unquote um, bring you in from the cold. They will open their doors, and um, <coughs> they will give you um, oh, what's that word? Uh, not hospitality, but uh, relief. Um, yeah, that will give you relief and um, kind of like reprieve from the situation, respite um, from the challenging situation you've got going on. Yes. Um, and yes, let's speak. So we, sp um, yeah. So we mentioned that. Let's speak about this kind of diverging pathways. Um, so for this challenging situation, the improvement is also perhaps like you're on the fence, literally on the fault line about it, uh, on the pathways about it, and you don't know whether to take the move or the decision to, to, to go on from it or, or the, the, the precise pathway to kind of shift and move away from this energy um, but it will come to you like i said in the moments when perhaps you are dealing with the most challenging aspects of the situation that's when um, a helping hand information or knowledge or kind of just like your own intuition kicks in uh, with your the guidance of, of your your spiritual guides and support that that will point you it's like okay go in this direction seek out this information call this center call these people <clears throat> here's the number in um that pops up in, in your feed or something or a video perhaps um that will guide you along the way and will lead you to where you need to go okay so that is the first improvement we have for you shifting away from this uh, very challenging energy into better horizons here. Okay, so let's gather this up. We'll leave your first improvement over here and we'll look next into your second improvement here. There's a total of four. So your next one here is the Lama with set clear boundaries and enforce them, Archangel Chamuel. Mm, okay, there's no wavering here. So it's like, I will not have this, I will not have that. Um, perhaps this relates back to um, the first improvement here because your life is a whole continuum, right? It's like, even though there are areas of improvements here, they are all tied in together because you are one single person. Um, 
So yeah, it's setting clear boundaries here, and perhaps it's also about relationships as well. Uh, what is the vibe we're getting here, Spirit? Let's grab the tarot deck while I look into the energy here. So we have this as your tarot deck for this second improvement, and this as your Lenormand. Okay, so let's draw your cards here and look into what is the energy of this improvement, the second improvement. Um, so for those of you who are stuck in a relationship situation that are not beneficial for you, it is, yes, an encouragement to set clear boundaries if you are to proceed with this, uh, to proceed forward with this relationship, <coughs> um, or to shift away and move away from this relationship altogether. We're seeing the pathways there, as we mentioned earlier, um, it's what we're talking about. So in order for this relationship to continue, um, there has to be some clear boundaries that needs to be met and needs to be, well, set and met. Um, and, uh, or the other advice is choosing another relationship or pathway altogether and ending this one. We'll see uh, what the advice is, but what it, that's the vibe I'm getting for the current moment. Okay, so can we get, okay, one, two, and three. Is that right, Spirit? Not this one. Okay, thank you. Yes. All right, so for your second improvement, pile number two, we have the three of earth with raspberry. Hmm. It can be a fruitful relationship or harvest but there's a long way to get there. Okay, we have the chariot with cedar. You can let it take root and grow or you can move away from it and conquer the situation. Okay, and we have six of wands with our fire with nasturtium. <coughs> hmm, a lot of wavering energy here. Either burn it and let it go, or light it up and let it bloom. Okay, interesting. I see why you're wavering back and forth here. Uh, it comes with every single card, actually. Uh, number. So we have for you the Norman, the Fox. Hmm. That's why Spirit chose this deck. Okay. We have the Moon here. And we have the stork. Okay, so a couple of things here, lovely stars. Like we mentioned, this relationship can work, um, but it will take effort. So the improvement aspect that we're talking about is you learning your boundaries. Um, <coughs> I will not do this. I will not do that. I will allow this. I will allow that. That is up for you to decide. It's setting your clear boundaries that will make this relationship fruitful and beneficial. Because the thing is about this relationship, there are times when it feels like it's very innocent, lovey-dovey, but it's tricky at the same time. It seems like that on the surface that it's easier to work this dynamic with this person or the situation. But then it turns out like, wait, why did you say this and you do that? Or why did you promise this, but then didn't follow up with your promise? It's that kind of energy, that kind of tricky energy, right? Where somebody says one thing, but then does another, and then it leaves you confused. Um, <coughs> what we're talking about here is, like I said, it. what I heard when I picked up this card, it can work, it can be fruitful, you it can be 
harvestful. Uh, it can be a good harvest. Like this relationship can really develop into something really fruitful and beneficial, and something for you both to enjoy. But it's gonna take a long way to get there. Um, it will take dedicated effort and work to to really get there. Um, and we can get good firm ground rooting for this relationship to flourish. But again, we we need commitment from both parties. And then from your uh, improvement <coughs> is learning how to set your boundaries, learning how to voice and communicate what you need and what you don't want, what makes you uncomfortable, what helps you flourish. Um, and that in turn will also help them with their needs as well. Uh, so let's say yes. And the advice is kind of going back to the innocence or youthful nature of what you are that will help you get here. Uh, what we see is the potential or the rise or the elevation or the enhancement or the growth of this relationship. Um, but yes, in order, <laughs> in order to do that, someone has to take a leg up, has to step up to, to the challenge. And by someone, we mean the both of you um, in terms of your development in regards to this, this relationship. Okay. Anything else we're getting here, Spirit? Yeah, because the trickiness will only confuse you. Yeah, and kind of delay the advancement of what this is. It's the very wavering energy, as we talked about already. It keeps on going back and forth between like seemingly innocent and beautiful and harvestful and um, abundance and plentiful and then kind of like falling out of that. It's like you need to take control and take the rein on this relationship and for it to be successful. Yes, because it certainly can. All right, let's look into your next improvement here. So we have this oracle. With new moon in Taurus, know your worth. Hmm, okay. I see this moon going into full moon. Yes, because this new moon here, and I see it going, or it's on its progression and path towards um, the full moon into its totality. Uh, okay, let's draw your next tarot and Lenormand here. Okay, so what is this energy for the next improvement about spirit? Just get one more shuffle here. What is the energy of the third improvement for card number two, please, spirit? Yeah, so knowing your worth, um, So we're talking primarily about self-confidence here. So for pile two, please, Spirit, what is the third improvement all about? Knowing their worth. Um, enhancement of themselves, their personality, their um there your part number two it's for your self-confidence that's the one i was looking for um <coughs> the thing that was just jumping out with me was the the solar plexus chakra uh which is about your yes your self-worth your self-confidence your um Just the essence of your power and who you are, yes. 
So the strength that you can develop for yourself that is primarily about self-confidence that gets you there or developing that aspect. It's like I see this, uh, as we mentioned, the, the new moon coming into the full moon, right? So new beginnings shifting towards its um, totality but it's a progress, a progression to, to, to go there. Um, it just doesn't happen overnight. So we have the Three of Wands. Hmm. Okay. Seeing another version horizon for yourself. We have the Emperor. Hmm. And then we have the Page of Swords. Okay, for you, the Norman, we have <coughs> excuse me, the Cross. Then we have the Star. And then we have the Feminine Divine Energy. Okay, so your next improvement, lovely stars, power number two, is, yes, we talked about knowing your self-worth already. It's about self-confidence, self-worth, but it's how you perceive yourself. This is a very interesting improvement. Um, aspect for you to work on because it's it's going to take work in terms of shifting your perspective about yourself whatever limitations you have however small your goals might be it's time to extrapolate it it's time to enhance it it's time to magnify it um Magnifying, magnifying your self confidence, your goals, the way you see yourself, your your per, the way you perceive your self worth, your potential, your abilities, everything. Um, so strongly in uh, encouraging the power of your solar plexus here, tapping into that chakra, uh, aligning and tuning that chakra, um, and the what's coming through here is like there's plenty of videos on YouTube. Um, to kind of strengthen and promote your solar plexus chakra. Go find one, you know, and see what activities or meditations they have for you. There are certain activities you can do as well in terms of yoga pose. Um, that <coughs> I think it's called, yes, the bow and arrow yoga pose, um, where you have your abdomen, where the solar plexus chakra is, your, your stomach, uh, on the floor and the ground and you're reaching for your um, your hands to grab your feet and that activates the um, solar plexus chakra there so for some of you it could be through yoga that you can achieve this or to uh, enhance or strengthen this area but yeah we're talking about yeah there has to be some dedicated effort here in terms of how you see yourself to see yourself as the star that you are. Uh, you are on the Star Horizon channel because you are a star, right? Uh, but it's your perception that really lights you up or keeps your star dim. Um, and we're talking a lot about vision and perspective here of seeing who you are, seeing yourself in a new light, seeing yourself as a confident, independent person, <coughs> who is um, or looking for new ways to, to um, the explorative side of yourself will help kind of bring this out as well. Somebody who is curious about the world, um, has many different talents and, and assets, um, but they don't view themselves that way. And it's time to really start looking yourself as the star here um, and build a firm foundation off of that. 
the emperor energy here is very much confident in and of himself. We're talking about balancing your feminine energy and your divine masculine energy as well. And once you do, once you keep working on it, because it is going to take a lot of work, um, then it will, it will give you firm rooting um, in terms of building up your confidence because it's not just in this moment that you're building this. It's for your entire lifetime and perhaps lifetimes to come as well. Uh, that's a deep message coming through because yes, what you do now in this lifetime and build, it will go back to your, it will add to your repertoire and your Akashic records of your knowledge of your your soul um, and it will build in future generations to come in terms of where you are now and in, fu in future lifetimes as well um, it is a process we talked about it's a process that takes work um, but yes starting out as like the page of swords right but you have to begin somewhere your your conviction and and your goals and your plans has to be firm it has to be um well it has to begin in the first place <laughs> but it's taking that first step um first is having the vision but then it's taking the steps to get there yes all right uh let's look into your Last improvement here, part number two. I will also grab a drink of water real quick. Otherwise, I will not be able to deliver the message. <laughs> um, okay, so this is your oracle and your next improvement is the awakening, okay. Talk about seeing yourself in a new light. <clears throat> okay, and let's grab your last Tarot and Lenormand here. All right, Spirit, so for pile number two's last improvement, what is the energy in regards to here, Spirit? Blossoming. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I feel like this improvement is going to be far down the line. Um, <coughs> because it's a progression from the last improvement. Yes, and this one. Okay. Let's get you the norm in here. Yes, because as we talked about, it's something to work on. Um, I mean, unless you can just magically <laughs> shift your self-development overnight and be one day just be a normal person and the next day become a goddess, which is entirely possible. I'm not saying it's not. But if that's the case, you will be blossoming as this dragon sooner than you thought. Um, but it depends on how much perception is shifted um, to allow that to happen. Yes, you can be a goddess overnight. You can be a goddess five years from now. Um, you can be a goddess within the next month. It just depends on the perceptions that we have of ourselves, how we shift them, and the effort we take into doing that. Um, okay, so let's look at your tarot here. We have postponement. Yeah. We have flowering. Uh, how befitting it falls under the awakening. <laughs> And did we not say blossoming? <laughs> uh, yes, we did. That message came out loud and clear, lovely stars. We have blossoming and flowering. And we have tress. You're going to be flying. Um, 
Okay, and let's look at Euler Norman here. We have the writer. Why do we want to put the writer on this side? Okay, we'll do what spirit instructs <laughs> or suggests. Uh, we have the mountain. Hmm. A cave of introspection. We did say it was going to be a lot of work. And we have the rats or the mice. Hmm. You're playing a cat and mouse game with yourself, lovely stars. That's what's coming through here. Um, <coughs> it's like your goals or... Yes, the perception, the perspective of you. So we're talking about your blossoming here. It's the improvements, right? Um, <laughs> you notice how Spirit wanted me to put these cards further away from each other. It's like here you're chasing after yourself and the mice looks like they're running away from this person, right? While carrying something nutritious. Uh, and there's a blockage here. Um, it's a cave of introspection is one thing I'm getting. The other is a challenge. <laughs> Do you see where the cards lie, lovely stars? <laughs> it's a challenge that it's like you've got to overcome this challenge first and then you can reach up and get the nutrition or the perspective of yourself or the blossoming of yourself. Like I said, I got a feeling this is very much down the line, but timing is relative because it depends on how much work you put in. Oops, this got shifted. Um, <coughs> it got shifted to here and it was talking about timing here. You can be here within five months. You can be here within five years. You can be here within tomorrow. It's how you shift yourself and your perspective. You're blossoming, becoming this magical dragon, this magical star that you are. Um, <coughs> and being able to fly, to take off, to accomplish your goals and dreams and desires. Um, this postponement here, we're talking about timing. It's shifting so far away, but it's in the mental thought here. Like four with the elements of air is the element of the mind or associated with the mind and as we said your flowering comes once you tune in to yourself and your growth here but it will take a little bit of work uh, a little bit of shifting the perspective it's like this is the future of what you are becoming and how soon you get there depends on you and how you shift your perspective um, the advice is, or the clue as the way you can take there, is to go into introspection. I'm going to look at your other, um, the last one real quick. Yes, it's the, it's the introspection and the shifting of perspective that will lead you there either sooner or later. It is entirely up to you, but, um, uh, and talk about the solar plexus chakra uh, with this color being a golden light in yellow. And what color <laughs> other than that do we have here for your awakening? Absolutely amazing synchronicities and wonderful to hear, lovely stars. So yes, <coughs> take that movement because it will, um, well, let's acknowledge all of your improvements here. You're shifting right now, perhaps it's challenging. That's why it's difficult um, to move here right away because we're moving you away from a, a challenging situation, right? And then we have the boundaries, which also talks about relationships and connections that perhaps are in the way as well. Right? There's a couple of things you have to juggle um, in your life right now. So do take the time when when you do find the time you can then focus on becoming this this amazing aspect of what you are all right lovely stars that was your reading um i hope you liked it if you did or found it insightful or helpful please give that like button a tap subscribe if you have not already i hope you have a wonderful magical day
Please take care of yourself, shine bright, and I will see you in the next reading. <laughs> Bye, lovely stars. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. All right, let's look at your improvements here in your life. So we have four improvements for you. The Oracles have all been shuffled. The Tarot and your Lenormans will be all shuffled on camera in here. So let's look at your first improvement here. Hmm. Uh, yes, so we have the animal, as we saw already in the selection process. Let's see here. What is Pile 3's first improvement in regards to your spirit? Ah, okay. It's like something about uniqueness and recognition and being seen. It's like uh, display is coming to... Um, is the word that's coming forth here so a display of some sorts um an exhibit let's see okay let me get just a drink real quick here stars okay <clears throat> so some sort of um display exhibit something being seen popularity um, things of those nature are coming through um some sort of trickling down spreading of the word yes okay one more shuffle here so what is this first improvement for Pile 3 all about, Spirit? Uh, okay, and you'll grab this one too. They're all coming out for you, okay. <coughs> Let's put this over here. And let's see, okay. And we'll also grab your the Norman here as well. So, for Pile 3's first improvement, something about recognizing your art, the nature of who you are, your uniqueness, your wildness. We have the animal coming through here. So, can we get three Lenormand here, please, Spirit? Okay. Okay. We'll go with this one. Perfect. All right, Pile 3, so first we have the Six of Cups. Hmm, okay. Then we have the Queen of Cups. Cat Tails um, <clears throat> is coming through here. And then we have Knight of Wands. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Strong energy there, pile number three. <laughs> You're gonna beat the competition. Almost like literally. <laughs> uh, and then we have justice. Hmm. <coughs> Perceiving and receiving your worth. Okay. Let's go to you, the Norman, before we complete your message here. So we have the garden. <laughs> yeah, talk about exposure and recognition. Uh, we have the house. Hmm, okay. Maybe you were been doing this from home. Uh, and then we have the fish. Abundance, yes, and recognition. And a lot of emotional fulfillment as well. All right, Pile 3. So for your first improvement here. Yes, <clears throat> we talked about this oracle already. But we're talking about perhaps a dream, a wish, a desire. Something you've had for a long time. And you held it near and dear and close to your heart. Um, what is uh, in regards to this cattail that's coming through spirit? Fans, 
Is it fans? Yeah, that's primarily what I'm getting. Um, so perhaps you're looking for fame one way or another, and there's fans, there's people involved, there's social media, there's basically the public eye coming through, right? Um, <coughs> And you're quite determined to get this out there across, to get your creativity, to get your expression, to get your uniqueness of who and what you are out there to the world, to the public eye. Um, but what is this energy in regards to spirit? We know you're beating out the competition. Um, it's a strong energy we're getting here. And... I feel like here we're getting the energy of reciprocity. It's like what you put in, you will get out. What you created, you will get the due compensation of what you deserve. Um, <clears throat> but I think there's a word of caution here. It's the feeling I'm getting. It's like, be careful of how you approach this or the way you approach putting yourself out there. Yes, um, because you want to maintain the innocence and the authenticity of what you want to bring forth, of what you want to let out there in the world. Um, because that will make it more fulfilling for you. You're going to get the exposure, so don't worry about that. Perhaps, but there's something that you're um, <coughs> you're cooped up in that perhaps will be more tempting to make you go about it certain ways. To to uh, what we're, what we're getting is to seek it by all means. Um, no, there's a saying that goes with this: uh, to do whatever it takes to beat out the competition. And it reminds me of a movie. Um, <coughs> I forgot what it's called, but yeah, you don't want to go in 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 routes or in paths that will be not true to who you are, not authentic to who you are, and, and paths that are more destructive just to uh, um, achieve the end goal. Yeah. Um, the saying is the the result justifies the means right and that's not what we want to go towards <laughs> you can we all have free will to do what we want but the thing is justice here talks about due karma so if you go about this path or this approach um in a beneficial manner, in a way where it benefits everybody, then that's the energy you will receive back. But if you're going to step over people or going to destroy certain things on your path towards achieving this goal, this dream, um, or not or not even that, it's not even staying true or authentic to yourself, then that's the energy that will come back. So that's the word of advice here and warning as well to be authentic and to do this in a way or a manner that will retain your innocence and, and your approach towards this thing because the improvement here you don't have to worry about it is the fame is the recognition especially coinciding with the garden here and and reaching into every household you will be noticed you will be a household name you will <coughs> okay that's an exaggeration but uh, um, you will be known basically so do not worry um, yeah you will re get recognition that's the improvement we're seeing here uh, major improvement and abundance that comes with that as well fame uh, wealth riches connections you name it abundance in all its form but yes, do approach this in a way that is authentic and true to you without sacrificing any of your moral ethics or beliefs. Yes. 
All right, wonderful. Uh, let's go to our next improvement here. So we'll leave that over here for now. Okay, and your next improvement is this oracle. And we have Detox with Dandelion. Okay, strongly coming through already. For some of you, it's about the health. Um, and perhaps is very specifically, some of you has to do with the colon or the gut. Um, yes. And the liver as well is what's coming through. Okay. Let's look at your tarot here. And you're the Norman. Okay, so spirit for pound number three, please. In regards to their second improvement. What is the energy of this improvement? So we're getting some vitality, some vigor back into your life here. Um, yeah, getting very strong, strong health lives. Um, perhaps there's been a result you've been waiting on, something you've been waiting to hear. Um, but yeah, strong results yes, in regards to the health aspect here. Yeah, let's get your Lenormand as well. So for pile number three, please spirit, there's second improvement. Vitality, vigor, cleansing. And part of health sometimes is cleansing. Um, <coughs> cleansing things that are toxic in our body. Uh, perhaps it's what we eat. Yes, or toxins that have accumulated. Uh, this is the one. Okay. So let's take a look here and find out. So we have the Sire of Cups, which is the King of Cups. And we have the Nine of Cups. And then we have the Hierophant. Okay. <clears throat> and for your Lenormand, we have the Birds. <laughs> First thing I noticed, even the shape of these birds' faces are like an apple. Hmm, step by step. Okay. And then we have the stork. More birds. And then we have the dog. Okay. So in regards to this detox spirit, I feel like it's plans you have already made or steps you have already made, uh, which is good to hear. Or at least your intention, your focus drives the energy there, right? Wanting to, to have healthier habits, healthier lifestyle, uh, to be more emotionally fulfilled. Um, we have the strongest indicator of health here in our um, tarot deck is in regards with the emotional element. And perhaps we're talking about mental health as well, but definitely physical health. Um, <coughs> yes. Um, so yes, actually the improvement is we see a lot of strides that you have made and taken and now it's bringing you into 
yeah, a healthier phase of life. Being able to detox things that are not beneficial for you. Um, and consulting and talking with resources and people, both friends, colleagues, and professionals as well. Um, like your doctors, your... Um, yeah, your uh, therapists, um, yeah, doctors, therapists, um, your acupuncturists, your uh, Cairo, your PT, anybody who works in the healthcare field, basically. Um, your Reiki energy healer, that's someone else who works, your empaths, your psychics, um, your tarot readers. <laughs> anybody who gives you uh, growth, encouragement, information, peace of mind in regards to your physical health, in regards to your mental health and making plans and goals and leading you, um, give you instructions and information to lead you towards a healthy, beneficial life. Um, we see two uh, energies coming through here. <coughs> um, one is primarily, you know, not wanting to be uh, down the line when you reach an old age um, if you are not there quite yet um, when you reach geriatric kind of age maybe like in the 70s or 80s living in a comfortable retirement home or like in a comfortable home of your own um, instead of you know being in a, a hospital or a state where you are physically and mentally weakened uh, the the great improvements that you're making here the great strides you're making here is or at least the encouragement to do so for those of you who are heaven we're getting two energies tapping into here um, a lot of you is already making these great strides uh, the others of you is an encouragement to do so but heading towards this <clears throat> Improvement in your physical health will benefit your mental health, will benefit your relationships with others, and it's getting the information to give you a long and prosperous life. And in the end, enjoying time with those that are good company around you. Um, and they we're seeing this way down the line, right? And like I said, in your geriatric age. So absolutely wonderful to hear. Uh, um, not much more coming from that message. That is a great improvement to have in your life, Lovely Stars. Let's move on to our next improvement here. So we have Moot. Hmm, okay. Let me grab a drink real quick here. Some of you, <clears throat> this could be in regards to motherhood, but I see something else here too as well. Kasmut is the goddess that was considered uh, um, in ancient Egyptian to be the great mother of all. She was a uh, consort and um, <coughs> to uh, Amun, some of the primordial gods here we're talking about, very ancient gods. Um, <clears throat> But also, seeing new horizons here, Mood comes and gives us her, um, her blessings and, and her fertility energy um, aspect. So let's draw your... So let's see what fertile improvement we have for you here. We have your Lenormand and your Tarot here. <clears throat> All right, Spirit. So for Pile 3... Third improvement, please. What have we got? What is the improvement? The third improvement that message that we have for pile three, please. Okay, well, there's one of them. We'll keep that open. Uh, yes, we'll take this one too. And we will take this one. Yes. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, and let's grab your other Norman here. Yes, and yes. Uh, okay, and one more here. So for your other Norman, uh, three, uh, thank you. <coughs> we have these ones. All right, so your first card here is the Six of Cups with Barrage. Hmm. Okay. Ah, we see an angel figure holding a uh, barrage in um, a bowl here, and it's being kind of infused in these drinks here. It reminds me of Three of Cups as well. Okay, and then we have Arlita of Fire with Cayenne. <clears throat> okay. I believe that is the Knights of Fire. Let me double check that in just a moment here, Stars. All right, we have Four of Air with Lavender. Uh, some healing things on the way. Okay, let me pause the video for just a moment here, stars, and check on that. Okay, I just want to double check on that. And yes, the Adelita are the knights. Um, okay, so let's see here. Actually, I think we do have room to put it here. Six of Cups, Knight of Wands, and Four of Swords. Let's shift moods over here. And let's check out Yula Norman. We have the garden. And we have the stars. And then we have the anchor. <clears throat> okay. Give me just a moment here, stars. What is... Okay, what is this in regards to spirit? Power three... Something's on the way. It's a messenger of sorts. Okay. It's like a knight. Yes, the knight of one messenger. What are they bringing? Mm. Ah, they're bringing news. Okay. But is this in regards to a connection or a baby? Okay, we have six of water. Okay, so this is why we're very, <laughs> we're taking a moment here, stars. There's two energies coming through here. Um, yes. Okay. Um, so let's speak about the overall energy here. So this improvement, like I said, <laughs> this is why we're seeing two different things. Um, remember how we said one for some of you is motherhood, childbirth, baby, parent, uh, parent, parenting. Um, the other is new horizons, right? Uh, about fertility. Um, <coughs> so let's speak about the the baby aspect first. So for those of you who are expecting, uh, whether you are adopting or whether you are planning to have children, there is news coming that, yes, that will be the case and the cause for celebration. Um, it will, the news will come to you in some form of messenger delivery or whatever. So, you know, email, text, phone, or a call, from your doctor's office or whatever, or um, from the adoption agency or center, you name it, it's coming through. It's going to give you peace of mind and a new era and a new phase um, that is going to be very wonderful and, and stable in your life. It's, it's going to connect you in so many different ways, both if you're in partnership with somebody, um, 
or whether you're a single parent or going to be a single parent uh, or in relations to your greater and broader family and perhaps your community as well. Um, but we're seeing that here uh, in regards to the baby aspect. All right, so now let's speak to the other group. For those of you who are waiting on news for something, some form of development, whether it's on a project or something you've got going on overseas, or even something on a, um, a mass, uh, what's a mass platform. Yes, so something, perhaps you're doing something online and it's reaching out uh, and you're trying to get it to reach out through um, <coughs> through the world, right? Uh, talking about your fame in the future, relating back to your your first improvements here. Because even though these are quote-unquote separate improvements, you are one person, right? And what you've got going on in your life all ties in with each other. Um, and that goes for the health regards as well, if you're talking about um, the baby aspect and trying to conceive. But definitely reaching out to, um, for those others of you, the group in regards to wanting your platform, wanting your product, wanting your um, project to reach out there, reach the masses, reach the populace, reach the people. Um, <clears throat> yes, there's going to be some sort of messenger or some sort of um, connecting link. Uh, messenger more so for those of you who are expecting. Um, a connecting link for those of you who are wanting to get your name and your fame established and out there. Um, yes, the there's going to be a connecting link with the... Um, with the world, with the community, that will make you into a star and then it will make you feel more stable, more at peace. You're like, okay, finally, I am now famous. I, my product is now out there. I am now a household name, now a stage name. Uh, stage name is coming through strongly. Uh, my performance, uh, my name is out there. I'm established. Now I can reach new horizons. I can go on adventures. I can see new things. Um, <coughs> yeah, so that kind of energy coming through. So two energies coming through here. Um, but yes, whatever you're hoping, waiting, expecting, it's getting out there. It's You're getting the message. You're receiving it. It's going to be fulfilling and it's going to be stable and long term. Yes. All right, uh, lovely to hear. Let's go on to your last improvement here. <clears throat> okay, so your last improvement is this oracle. And its message is magical alchemy with innovation, ingenuity, curiosity, and ahead of your time. Ooh, okay. Hello, star seeds. <laughs> okay, that's the vibe we're getting here. Okay, and let's grab your tarot and your the Norman here. I'm also going to scoop this back a little bit. Yes. Okay, so spirit for pile threes last. And fourth improvement here in regards to the fourth improvement. What message have we got for them? Ah, it's a soul mission, it's a star seed mission. Okay, that's why you're so eager to get it out. Pattern four, <laughs> I see. And for some of you who are not vibing or resonating, or I mean, um not associating with those terms it's a big project or a goal or accomplishment you want to have so you want to see the results of we want this one where did it go no 
Okay. Uh, can we take this one as well, Spirit? No. Okay. Um, give me a yes and no at the same time. Uh, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's see for you, the Norman here. All right, so for pile threes, fourth improvement, please, spirit. Mm. Yes, okay, that one. For pile four, uh, threes, <coughs> fourth improvement here. We do want to take this one. Okay, this one. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's look at your tarot here for your fourth improvement. The three stars. We have the master. Holy similarity. <laughs> you see that here, lovely stars. We have two very similar figures here. <laughs> What is this in regards to, oh, okay. Huh. Something that's hidden. What is this in regards to spirit? Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> All right, let's look at your other cards before I talk about that lovely stars. We have consciousness, <laughs> oh my god, with <clears throat> the ace of air here. Big, big name. Uh, okay. And we have receptivity with the queen of cups. Wow, okay. Okay, hold on. I gotta take a moment with this energy. Holy cow, pile three. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, your future energy is strong here. Um, it's uplifting and it's also rewiring. Interesting. All right, let's look at your Lenormand. <laughs> we know where this is going. Okay, we have, yeah, 28 with the Divine Masculine Energy. Emperor Highness. Um, we have 19 with the Tower. Huh. Interesting energy here. We have a past lifetime peeking through. What? <laughs> What is it in this energy? What are we getting here, spirit? Ah, okay. Wow, pile number three. We have a past life peeking through because that past life is resonating on the same energy of what you are about to become in your future life. Holy cow, okay. Um, <laughs> so we have the key with 33 here. Yes, always associate this one with, we have the sun here, yes. the the um, exposure, the the coming of, of your power, uh, the awakening of the dragon here. Okay. Okay. Time to get mind blown <laughs> in a very positive way, lovely stars. This path, this mission that you've been working on, that you came here to do, that the fame, that uh, but more so important than fame is the expression of what you are um, that you want to spread out on a global level here, right? Um, <coughs> that exposure that you want, not for the sake of fame itself, because we talked about already, it's a soul mission, it's a star seed mission. You want to illuminate the world here. Um, you want to shift and change and rewire people and you are but this is yet to come because you're still on your mission is that what it's feelings like um 
that's why a past life is peeking through here to give you some information um, in the future here as you work and as you progress and advance towards it you will become the master of your own consciousness we have buddha and the master coming through here um, and buddha was a master of of conquering the self the mind and really connecting to the totality of source and who or the essence of what we are um, <clears throat> so you will become a master of consciousness um, in and of yourself and that will allow you to just be this amazing individual um, that rewires people just through the magic and the art of alchemy alone as you walk the earth as you come in contact with those around you activating people through your divine masculine energy just your presence alone as like when buddha um <clears throat> in when when people came in contact which is buddha's presence just being in buddha's presence their whole vibration shift and raise and change and that's the kind of energy that you're working towards and that you're going to be bringing out here um, I see cosmos in here too yes um, yeah so we see cosmos basically source coming through you um, and you rewiring, changing, shifting people. That's why this lifetime is coming in to reveal who you're going to become. Um, it's you're right now in the process of working on it, on activating to become this master, to become the master of alchemy and consciousness, to shift and change people just by your presence alone. That's what you're working towards and it's going to it's a major shift and improvement that's that's rising but this past life is coming through to remind you that you did have this power in a previous lifetime in this past lifetime and but it wasn't the right timing in that past lifetime you can see here with the pterodactyl circling around this tower here you had to keep that that knowledge a secret um because it was just too archaic of a time in that present moment people's consciousness were not evolved on a global level on a collective consciousness sufficiently to accept uh, this kind of like now we would call it kind of new agey um yes uh way of thinking perhaps yes but um yeah back then it was it was probably like you had to keep it a secret probably for like survival and safety and <coughs> because it's like anything different back then say in like the medieval times or um back then would be considered heresy and witchcraft and then um they would probably burn you at the stake which they did <laughs> um they burned many people at the stake for being different um so back then it was too archaic of an age of an era to bring forth this kind of transformation to the collective consciousness but now in this lifetime is the time and that is the major shift or improvement that's coming forth here that's why you so want to bring this out to the world um it's an alchemical process um that will naturally rewire and reshift people it's like when you come in a room and somebody's really cheery or positive it just naturally lifts your mood and i didn't put this here i put it before i did any reading or recording but we're going to put it in now for your pile um because this is what you are radiating positivity um raising the vibration and the essence of yeah of your soul mission what you came to do is the major improvement here you're going to be unlocking the dragon to be the master of consciousness um 
And that will help people in so many ways. Absolutely amazing, wonderful to hear, lovely stars. All right, those were your improvements on pile number three. Uh, if you enjoy the reading or you found it helpful, insightful, go ahead and give that like button a tap. Subscribe if you have not already. I wish you an absolutely wonderful, magical day. Please take care of yourself, shine bright, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye, lovely stars.